you beautiful humans. My name is Ariane Andrew. I am Matt Dillon and welcome to another piping hot <laughs> episode of Sippin' the Tea Girl. Where we sip the tea <gasps> and our guests spill the, the tea. tea. Mm. Mm. We got mm. Mama. We got little Glitty. And today, 10 years in the making, I've loved this woman. She is a gypsy queen. She is back, reincarnated. Let's give a huge round of applause. Neon Hitch! Yes! Yay! My darling. I'm so happy to meet the you. The energy here is so <laughs> popping right now. I can feel it. You know what? When we're done, look, my leg has goosebumps. I don't know. I thought like, you just I, cold, chat. <laughs> I'm not cold. I'm wearing this coat. <laughs> She's like, yes, fashionista. I feel right? the energy. I want to get started and take it back. Okay. The music that you share with the world, you're sharing pieces of yourself. So I want to talk about kind of just for fans and viewers that may not know you and your journey, where you started and how that's really influenced your journey to where you are. Well, um, honestly, the way that it started is just kind of exactly the same as how it is now, just on a different level, I guess. You know, I grew up on a bus. Well, this one, you know. Yeah, this is epic. This is my home. Can you see that? Yes, they la, can. La, la. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I'm proud of that now, finally. Um, so I went from living on a bus, kind of have, being a free spirit, making my own clothes, having the freedom to do whatever I want. And I still have that now. I'm like just on a bus on tour in America. You don't that's so epic, that's though. Dope. <laughs> but that's the ultimate 360 journey. It totally is, you know, so. It's crazy. That, that tattoo there. Take us back to that, because I know, just for people that don't know a lot about you, that you actually performed in, on tour there, like when you were a kid, though. When like, I was a kid, I was a trapeze artist. Trapeze artist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no big deal. I also, no, but are you kidding me? You that, we can do it now and make you just... 15. That's insane. That, I know, that's... For yeah. money. You know, you do what you can. Well, it, I think it built you as, as a human being. You know, I wish I was as strong as I was back then. Like, I feel like... <laughs> oh, we're going to touch on that, girl. We're going to touch on that, girl. We're going to sip some tea, honey, on that. But I feel like your journey, though, is something that, whether people are in the industry or not, the ups and downs you've been through, the people that you've come across, and where you are standing right now, such a strong energy woman, that there's something to be said for the loyal, and I'm talking you have millions of people that look up to you. This is not a small brow kind of situation. So how does that feel in terms of you putting out music and making the decisions now for yourself with the, with the album Reincarnation? How does that feel to come to this stage in 2019? I'm just like super grateful that I've been able to have all of the experience and the knowledge that I've got from you know, being signed to Warner Brothers. I'm still signed to Sony Publishing, so, you know, that's still something official, but I decided to just take all of the knowledge I got along the journey, do it myself. You know what I'm that's saying? Fun. Like everything, even down to, I watch my hairdressers, and I just do it myself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she has a one woman yeah. show, I yes. I am. <laughs> Jill of all trades right there. You okay, gotta girl? be, you gotta be. <laughs> you gotta be, you know? I love it. I love it. So tell us about the new album. Tell us about the creation of it because it's under We Are Neon, mm -hmm. your label, yes. your stamp, your music, your voice. Yeah, so I made that whole album in LA like um, a year or so ago. And so because it's old songs, it was a, it was old, a year, but whatever. I mean, all <laughs> that, you've been living and breathing these tracks for some time, but I for know. us, the purveyors, well, now, we're just hearing them. I know, but I wasn't able to release them at the time, so then finally, like, you know, I'm also now a lawyer a little bit because I know how to read contracts and get contracts done, so... High five I, for <laughs> that, girl! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got all the legal stuff handled, and therefore I was able to release it through my own label, da 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 and I was like, yeah, reincarnation, because it's funny, I was exactly here this time last year, just like, it is reincarnation, because it's music from the past, the past journey into the now, you know, it's just a cycle. So I have a part two coming as well. I heard, I was about to say, I was about to say, we got some juice there. I read, I read. 
<laughs> so what's one of the questions that I got asked by some of your fans were, what's your favorite track on Reincarnation? Um, or tracks, plural. You know what? Like, it's really hard to say because they all have a very special, different meaning for me. Like, each song on Reincarnation has um, an individual message. But I think my number one favorite would be Bending Backwards. It's and that song, let me just tell you. <laughs> wait, should we sip? Wait, 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 should we sip? Let's sip. Let's sip. Let's sip. Let's sip. Mm. Uh, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> that song is the original take of a freestyle. Off the top. I just kept it as is. And I just was like, I'm just going to keep it like that. It sounds Because great. you can because I can't. Because you're running your own show now, girl. Exactly. And that is, that is so badass. Yeah, and what, like, when I was, like, you know, in the more structured pop world, they would make me re-sing one word, like, 500 times. I'm like, you just lose the vibe. You so, lose a piece of yourself, yeah. though, too. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I appreciate the structured format, but for me, like, most of reincarnation is freestyles, and I just kept it like that. <laughs> well, it's a bloody fantastic album. Yeah, it's and it, it really, really is. I do want to touch on because the structured part of your career with the labels, you've you've dropped some great kind of collabs with people that a lot of people would know. Jim Class Heroes was epic. Yes, that song was epic. Oh. That was kind of like visually where I was like, wow, this girl is so much more than just the voice. Right. There's so much that goes into what you put out. I want to kind of discuss your evolution of fashion and like who your influences are and how and why I guess that plays such a a huge part in your storytelling. Um, the fashion how, part. We're, we're like, I know, I mean, she is, I she know, is serving awesome. a lot today. I I was, do you know what? Uh, let's talk about my fashion right now because it's <laughs> fucking, it's hard. Uh, you can give, you, you can, can give you a can F5. Yeah. Yes. yes, we do whatever we want oh, here, girl. You have a smile on TV. <laughs> 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 Hey, cool. Uh, wow, well, watch out. Uh, anyway, here we go. this part of my fashion is because today I tried to put one of these is Amy's and one is mine. So they're like oh. our friendship necklaces. I tried to put it on today. It wouldn't fit over my hair. So I was like, you know what? I'll just keep it there. That's fine. Listen, you're giving it. You're serving a look. You are just serving look, it. girl. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's so authentically who you are or what people would think you are that it's kind of like you're winging it freestyling, but it's like... This, every little bit of this, when you came into the studio today, I was like, oh, there she is. <laughs> there she there is. There she is. And that's, I think, something that's developed and you've really kind of pushed that, but in your lane that you know is what you are truly about. You know what I mean? Yeah. People sometimes go and do things for a reaction. Absolutely. And I never really got that from you. you know, I don't at really all. care. I just like that's doing myself. That's the kind of vibe. Yeah, <laughs> but that's the kind of vibe. I think you touched on something just now, what and I know it. On? I know it's. I mean, and you're wearing a little part of your icon there. She's an icon in my life, and I didn't even know her. Amy Winehouse. Yes. Can you touch just briefly on that friendship and kind of mother love scenario that you had? Because I think people. It's one thing I really didn't know about it about you, mm -hmm. and I think that's so iconic because I can see tiny influences there. Sometimes Tiny. I can feel her. Like I was telling Demi yesterday, I was like, Demi's my girl, by the way. So Demi's kick out. She <laughs> here. Demi's she here. Shout out to Demi. <laughs> She's another jail yeah. ball trades girl. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Anyway, so I was just like, I was telling Demi, like, I feel Amy in me sometimes. I really do. You know, like I learned so much from her. And I really do feel her spirit in me at times. You know what I'm saying? So you feel like she's guiding you and like she's there. Oh, very much there. so. Because that's how that relationship started, right? She kind of took you under yeah. her wing. Yeah, I was actually homeless and we met at a squat party and she was like, what are you talking about? Get in the fucking car, you're moving in. That's hot. <laughs> that's like, like all right. I, okay, fine. <laughs> Wait, so speaking of that, like, I mean, just because your story is so inspirational and just kind of like, to watch the journey of like where you started and where you're at now, like what advice would you give like young girls out there that are aspiring to be like, whether it be a singer, a fashionista, cause you do it all. You're a Jill of all trades, run your own show. Like what advice would you give them? I think the most important part is tapping into who you really are. And sometimes like that. that takes a while to figure out. And in the beginning, you can start trying to be like other people and honestly, that's just going to make you feel crap. So just 
That's, yeah. some, <laughs> that's some sound advice. <laughs> yeah. Can we look down the lens of that camera and give that? Because I think that's some mad advice for any. It's yes. really important. I would like to say the most important part of, you know, being a jack of all your trades or a, a Julia of all your trades, whatever your name is. Anyway, it's just tapping into who you really are inside and not trying to fit in because, oh, I just found a bruise. Rock it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Rock it. Be I, lo it. <laughs> I love that. I think authenticity is the most important thing that anybody can give. I think and so. I think you have such a following of of women, men, young gay boys, trans, like the whole community. And I think the way that you've evolved and been so open in so many facets of your life. Yeah. Whether you tr whether you've chosen to do that on that level or just it's been your therapy to get through things. I think that for me, seeing you now in this 2019 and your just kind of aura about you, it's cool. It's cool because we yeah. are very positive people. That don't mean shit ain't tough. Exactly. It's like, yeah, that, I think that's the thing too. You have you're, to be real. You do. You it's know? Especially Life's, now. Yeah. It's we'll always be like this, stuff. but that's fun. I was just saying that yeah. today. It is. <laughs> it really is fun. You can't win you all the time. You have to love all of it, you know? The process. It's hard exactly. to love all of it sometimes, girl. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's light at the end of the tunnel. Of course. <laughs> it's all good. So tell us, you're, you're now based in Miami. Yes. A little jealous, honey. Like, uh, I know the weather. You got a spare room, house. girl? Uh, yeah. I do. Where are we going to Come and visit. We're going to see if Mama uh, likes some neon hitch. Yes. Uh, check uh, it. Check uh, it. As Mama's serving her looks too with her fashion. So, what's your ultimate goals? You've got part one of reincarnation. Yeah. Yes. You've got part two coming. Film clips, fashion. Do you want to take this out on tour? Uh, yes, I've actually been talking about setting the tour up. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's all in the works. I'm doing a lot, so I'm like, I get one it. step at a yeah. time. <laughs> when, it's all, when it's all you, I get it. It's I hard. totally get it. It's crazy going from like having um, a massive label, PR, this, that, everything. I just, I was like, you know what, it's, I just want to do it myself. Do you but... feel cleansed by that though? I, I in do. your own mental I mind. I do, because I know what's going on in my own business, because Good. I'm Fun. the only one who can see. And it's your and own no one business, like, though. And no it's one's going to work business. as hard as you're going to work. Exactly. Yeah. I sleep like two hours sometimes. Girl, I, just, I, I understand. This. I get <laughs> it, yo. I do it. Listen, <laughs> listen. That's what life's about, though. For, for me, it's about hard work will never be, like, that's what you have. That's the basis for everything. So you say yeah. hard work, but... If it's actually your journey and it's what you Correct. love, I never see it as work. Never see it as hard. I, I never Passion, see it money. as hard work. I don't yeah. call it work. It is me. Intrinsically, you. Yeah. Because Absol it's the, like I, love I wake that. up in the night sometimes. Oh, I have a song. Oh, it's, it's I'm always on. I can get that vibe. <laughs> I still got my hand on the Wait, so wait, any collabs? Do we see any collabs with anybody in the future or anyone you would like to collab with? I would like to do a Spanish song. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. It's a little Miami yeah. up in the house. Oh, oh gosh, it got to me, didn't it? Yes. It's it. I can feel the Miami connection. <laughs> oh, well, I would love that to happen. So I'm putting it out to the universe. I agree. That's how I got the track with Buster Rhymes. I oh, by the way, the, yes. the best. <laughs> I've been in a car with my best friend driving to Vegas, and we're like, literally, next song, go, <laughs> next song, here. Yeah. Fuck you yeah. better, bitch. No. <laughs> Just please don't do a Justin uh, Justin Bieber and do Burrito Burrito because he oh, didn't have the Spanish. Burrito Burrito Bad. <laughs> he didn't have the Spanish. I think she's, giving, like, she's serving <laughs> hair today. I did just do that. That's <laughs> so funny. I want to talk fashion collabs though because okay. music is such a, it's a big part of your life, but the way that you fuse it all together. In a perfect world, I'm like, I want to see you back at the front rows of Fashion Week. Yeah, I need to get back into the whole fashion world for sure. I made out with Betsy Johnson. That was so Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yes, I girl. love it. Live I get those um, vibes too. She's dope. She's I look up to another her a icon. Lot. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. love her. I love a New Yorker, Field. like. like Pat. Yeah, I just linked, uh, linked up with Patricia recently. I love her so much, you know? And here's the thing about me one thing, I always give respect to people I'm inspired by. And I wish that people would do that about me because. 
Sorry, this is a little off topic, but I'm... No, girl. No, I want you to yeah, free Yeah, I have to get this off my chest. Get it off your chest, Sam. <laughs> I just think... Do we need a sip? Yes. <laughs> Do we need a sip? Oh, okay. Are we getting heavy? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it's water, Chad. No, this actually is. Yeah. It's ice cold. Yeah. Well, fine. But I think it would be nice if people could give me respect because I know for a fact about a lot of situations where people have taken inspiration from me, whether it be fashion, a music video, or a song, whatever, and they just don't even shout me out. I'm like, what is that? Yeah. That's I won't. Weird. I won't name some names, but I. Don't I've seen. You, you I've know. Seen. If I, you I, know, you know. I, I think I know, but I, we're gonna let them. Whatever. Let, let them eat that cake, honey, because yeah. when you're doing that, I think that's the. You've you've trailblazed. You've trailblazed with a label. You've trailblazed with notable names, and now you're doing it for yourself, by yourself, and I think that's so inspiring for for anybody women especially to be like shit man like well, when it's in your core and yeah. it's running through your blood and that's why yeah wh when you when you mentioned the hard work it's not hard work but it's it's just the journey it is the journey it's the journey and yeah. i think i have a lot of respect for you for this evolution that i've seen and like music is just in your blood yeah, but funnily enough, I couldn't sing a note until I was 16, so... That's cr <laughs> That's crazy. You never know, do you? I was just yeah. sitting there waiting to come out. You know, it was just so random. How, like, how did this... Um, I, You know what? I have never planned anything. It just happens, and I'm just really good at going with the flow. <laughs> that's, I mean, maybe that's lessons for, for everybody right? in life. I think maybe, yeah. And being open to things. Yeah, you have Being to have an open, open mind because that's how you see new opportunities come in and stuff. If you don't have an open mind, then you're blocking other opportunities out. So yeah, Sweet girl. Yes, I love that. <laughs> right? That's so true. You just gotta so go with the, true. especially being an entertainer. Yeah. You have to be because it's like it leads you into so many like directions. You know, mm -hmm. it's like even though you know you're known for your music, but your fashion is like killer do we maybe see a Thanks. fashion line coming out yeah. I, think so. oh, I would love to make that happen i i think you would inspire so many people because your fashion is so different it's so authentic and so unique mm. and that's what we need more of are people who's willing so. just to embrace themselves do you know what like i was doing the red carpet and i was like oh man everyone's wearing like million dollar dresses red bottoms i was like fuck it i got my dress from the vintage market i safety pinned my bra in it i just <laughs> yes! got necklaces on my head i still look dope as fuck you <laughs> really do. you look better God. than a million dollar exactly no dope. well guess what people spend all that money and they still <laughs> look, look like doo -doo. shit right? <laughs> You're like, what the hell is that? I, I, I want to teach flea people market. how to get creative, you know? You I, did? No, I saw it on social because I was oh, like, yeah, I live yeah, right yeah. there. I was like, oh, that's my jam. That is my church. So I want to know. Yeah. This year is shaping up to be something pretty special. You've got sure. all your all your journey together. In your idea world, where would you like to see yourself at the end of this year? Like in your, when you sleep and when you dream and when you conjure up all the things, what do you see? I see having, um, I've released at least three albums this year. Damn, she busy. Oh, she damn. booked a motherfucking <laughs> What? I was like, like she you... booked him busy. Oh, I love finished. it. <laughs> I'm not finished. That's already written. Bring it. I know. I have over like, uh, I mean, last, shit, it's a lot. Um, there's about 400 unreleased songs that I have. Wow. It's a bit insane. So that's one part. But then I also really want to focus on my movie. So. I'm looking for the perfect director to help me piece it together. It's already written. It's the most incredible, inspiring, empowering story. And I really want to get that, you know, in motion this year. And then also the fashion stuff. I mean, I want to do it all, but, you know, three albums at least. And um, the movie, that's like the next project. Is the movie about your yeah. story? Oh, mm. girl. Yes. So it's all a true story. It's not based on, it is a true story. And I'm gonna have my little sister play me from when I was younger, cause she looks exactly like me, but she's 10 years younger. I will play the parts that I can myself. Nice. It's scripted, but it's all real. So that. If you know anything about her story, and you've got a gleam of it Let today. Let me just say this. I was like... I'll start here. Okay. Just say this. Give us some tea. Just one. Just, okay, just, just a, a little. Just a little drop. She's cute as fuck. <laughs> Let me have a drink, Chad. Ooh, as I spill on myself. You know, I'm just going to say this. The day I was born, my house burnt down. Fact. The day I left home, the Twin Towers went down. Fact. 
Okay, I was homeless and got discovered on MySpace. Moved out to America, everything's history. But there's so much in between that people don't, don't know. know. Hmm, it's a lot. It's wow. Ooh, all on. Sh- that being said, there's some, there's some tea to look forward to. There, there's through. some tea, so I'm gonna need you to go ahead right here, girl. Where can we find you? Find Where you can everything. fans get the album, yes. social? You can find me roaming around everywhere. <laughs> 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 but on the socials, Neon Hitch Instagram, on Facebook, Neon Hitch TV, you, uh, YouTube, Neon Hitch TV, da, da, da. Neon Hitch, you'll figure it out. That's my real name. Yes. yes. And you better you better get this uh, Spotify. You better get that album. Because get it, yes, get it. Get it before the next evolution and comes. I li- yeah, yeah. You need to catch up now. So listen all the way from the beginning to the end because it is like an audio movie. Like, get involved. I agree. I agree. Right? Listening to it and sitting with you and kind of just getting a glimpse of of just a tad about you and an and inch about you. Like, a, it really is... An audio film. That's why I was like, it we is. need the visuals to pair that with. That's exactly. Well, it's all gonna. It's live all gonna happen. 2019 is the year. I've got it one, is. a couple of questions though before we go from okay. uh, your your big fan base child. And I'm telling you, we can all go to Brazil because they're popping yes. on you in Brazil. Let me I tell you. I can't wait to go to Brazil. Oh, my. Well, they'll be very happy to hear that because they're like, oh, it's going to Brazil. I just want to go to Brazil. We can make it work, <laughs> girl. We can make it happen. We all can do Okay. We got a question. You know, we're getting 1969 official video. When's that popping off? Well, funnily enough, we were just talking. We about were that. people. We were just talking. Hashtag about that. stay <laughs> tuned. Stay right? tuned, right? Hashtag yes. watch this space. Yes. How was it to live in India? Very mind-opening, awakening. Makes you grateful for absolutely everything. I already am grateful for everything because my raising, like, we didn't have running water growing up. None of that. Like so. I'm just grateful for a roof over my head. And going to India, you really see true poverty and makes Mm. you realize, like, you got to be grateful. And the funny thing is, they're all so happy. What do you touch on right there? Usually the people with the least are shining, bright, gleaming souls. And I'm like, we we all need to. (laughs) It is weird, but it's also for, I'm like, no, look at that. Because for me, that's like, we got to look at, Take stock of what really freaking matters. Right. Take stock of it and mm-hmm. and realize that life is okay. Roof on head. Yes. That's it. Surrounded you by know, quality people. You have to be That's just grateful for exactly what you got. You the know? little things. All right. Yeah. Last last rapid fire question from the anti diva girl. How do you make your hair so volum- voluminous? Oh, wow. <laughs> I know. We, I know she like girl, but she is popping. How do you get that popping? Um, because secretly I'm basically a drag queen. So. Uh, well, here we go. I, I know my shit. Uh, love um, that. Yeah, I mean, I just watched the hairdressers, like I was telling you. I just kind of, then also just kind of do it myself. The volume, well, you know, I've got secrets, like. They must remain secret. Yes, we can't, we can't, we can't, can't spill all, can't all, spill away all my tricks. That's exactly. not fair. Not yet, not yet. yet. Not yeah. yet. <laughs> Listen to the album first. <laughs> and wait for the film. Exactly. Yeah. And then maybe she may spill a little bit more right, tea. Right, exactly. Casual spilling. All right, girl. <laughs> well, it was, girl, you have been a pleasure. It's bomb. I can't wait to see what you have to, like, continue to keep offering everyone because... The world is, is ready. Yeah, the world is ready yeah. for you. I think that it's time because, honestly, like, I just had this energy feeling in me right now again. Ooh. She's got the bombs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but I do. And so, uh, the world, like, is in, like, pretty, like, malfunction zone, you know, with, uh, you know, who and so president much Girl, stuff. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> she, the world she, do with she a bit of ready. light. <laughs> I agree. Neon, let's get it. All right, let's we're going to cheers it. on cheers. that. The world can use some light. We are let's neon. get some neon All in it. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you guys. It has been freaking amazing. You know you guys can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew and this little nugget at Glitty Glit. You can follow me at Matt Dillon 1983 and I ain't gonna wake the sleeping beast girl. She been on tour for three weeks. <laughs> I want to say big thank you again to my girl Neon Hitch. Yay. Rock star, all round kick ass chick. Yes. Thank you so, so much, babe. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Ten thank years. You. years yeah. Ten years. Can and if you, you believe it? Ten years. <laughs> Yay!
Yeah, you got the wrong number. Click.